Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late Night Mega here, and we're back with 48th place. It's by SC Minda. SC Midna. Oh no, more compactors. 59.25 is the average score. And, uh. I remember hearing about this stage when we had. I want those bolts. Uh, I remember that, that music thing. I still want those bolts. Eat, fetch. Oh gosh. The stage... The stage has like... It was in that, that music radio contest. Why are there spawning people falling from here, and why can I shoot them? Nice introduction to that gimmick, at least. Okay, so everywhere there's that cloudy thing, there's going to be some sort of... ...thing spawning down. Okay. Sheep blocks. Oh gosh. Big eye. Oh gosh. Big eye. Get. Give me that. I feel like there could have been a secret to the left, but I was gonna check, but uh, I wanted to kill that big eye. I wanna kill that big eye. I'm probably supposed to be up there, aren't I? No, no, it's easier down here. Crap. Yeah, we're not doing this legitimately. <gasps> oh, those are just going to... I got the key. Oh, and it's just for goodies. Didn't even need to. Don't even need to do it legitimately. Okay, I guess those window things can also be a checkpoint. Because we're falling out of them. That is so weird. Oh, what are we doing now? Oh, we're killing me. All right, that was a neat challenge. Oh, I, I protest that. Well, uh, this concept is so weird. Kind of done with these spawners, though. Seal. You need to seal him away. And there's spiders. Okay. Great. Big guy. The guy that could just be completely avoided. Well, oh gosh. Oh, these spawners, these compactors. And now we have lava in there, too. Oh, what in the world? 
No, big guy, you just stay way away from me. Hey, I'll just kill myself on all these time bombs. Oh, hey, I got a uh, checkpoint beat. Go get me that. I don't want any of your excuses. Go get me that. Heaven? Is this way? What's gonna be dropping out of there? Oh, these stupid swimming people. I don't know what they are. I don't know who they are. I protest that. I was fully on the count bomb. At least the checkpointing has been good. Oh, screen transitions. You know, most of those purple bomby blocks have not proven to be... Uh, they've been proven to be more for aesthetics than anything that would represent a challenge. Where the heck am I going? Uh, I'm going places I don't want to be. All Mega Man accounted for. You needed 100%, you rescued 100%. Superb, you rescued. I couldn't read all of that because I landed on the... This is a really bad time. You look ridiculous. Grah, I can't believe that chump cheated by hitting my bad can. Oh, great. Now the boss is gonna give me the scolding of a lifetime. A lifetime I could be spent lifting. May I politely request your silence for at minimum two minutes starting from now. I am currently 514.1 seconds into a most riveting Sudoku puzzle, the 84th puzzle since 6 a.m. this morning. Your 155 decibel volume of speaking is currently disrupting my concentration by a measure of approximately 31%. Oh, can it, Poindexter? If I got my butt kicked, that means the boss will send you next. I assure you, I have already taken that into account. I ran precise calculations from how much leisurely time I would have before I am sent out, and those calculations dictate that that time will be up in exactly 5 seconds and 66 milliseconds from now. I shall leave you two alone then. You two. Is that I doing okay, nerd? Blocky! You thought I wouldn't find out, did ya? I saw how hard you got canned back there. What was all that lifting for? I'll tell you what, it's all for nothing if you get cocky. If you paid a little more attention, you would have covered your weak spot. You let your guard down due to overconfidence. When you're in a fight, you can never get too confident. You got that dummy? You know, if... He speaks with such rudeness as if he's an e as if it's an easy job. He too lost to Mega Man before, but I feel like he'd kill me if I brought that up to him. Hmm, when has he ever done anything aside from yell at us since we started working for him? Boss? Alright, well good, we're back here. Oh no, more contactor. C contactors. Compactors. This entire level is all over the place. Instead of exploring directions, it just feels like a jumbled mess. You quickly bring in other gimmicks that exist for a room or two and then are gone. Like the count bombs and the sheep man blocks. And the sheep man blocks appeared twice. Focus on less and make more engaging challenges with what you have instead of adding more. I know the two gimmicks don't work great together, so adding in something else is a good idea. It's just that the execution of it was lackluster. It's not that every room was problematic even. 
just that the bigger picture of the level is sort of a mess. Good attempt. You could definitely take ideas from here and improve them into something way better. There's potential. Lemmings. Now, that's something I'm not too familiar- okay, they were lemmings. Isn't that, isn't that like an old Sega game that had that sort of thing? What I'm familiar with, though, is Squished Mega Man. That's honestly most of my experience with this level. It was frustrating because, at times, you're a terrible player, because insta-death is something that just gets annoying after a while. It wasn't completely frustrating, though as a lot of places were totally fine and fun to play through, but the compactors just kind of dragged it down due to their abundant placement. I died more in the crystal dropper stage. What? Challenges were fine. Even if this level had no other redeeming qualities, it would still be appreciated for bringing Oh No More Lemmings, into the universe of outside IPs that are concurrent with Make a Good Meg Man level. Okay, so I guess that's what all that weirdness was from. I suspect that if we uh, charted out all the franchises in our Mega Tommy Westphal universe, what? it'd be a seriously convoluted nexus of crossovers. Anyway, and I mean this in the best possible, best way possible. Your opinion on this level will depend on how much you think sadism is a valid design principle. Because this level really relishes in freaking the player out. Take for instance the screen with five gajillion count bombs and a big eye. That's a screen that evokes a palpable gulp in a player's throat. Of course, once you know what's coming, the actual path through that screen is pretty straightforward and easy to avoid the big eye entirely. Lemmings is an apt reference point. It's a tricky puzzle in the moment, but once you work out a game plan, you can figure out what to do. Unfortunately, not all the challenges in this level are treated equal. In particular, the Camuso Mines are a sticking point. Many times throughout the level, I don't think it was taken into account that the mines hurt you if you happen to be standing directly to the side of them, leading to a lot of moments where you get hit by them seemingly at random even after you think you've cleared them. Oops. Nope, not what I was trying to do. i to scroll through this novel here. The mind, okay. If this was deliberate, it sure doesn't feel like it. It's also occasionally unclear what to do or where to go, as with the sort of confusing room with the ow ow and the million sheep blocks, but I did like the level in the end. I definitely totally got the reference. Yes, sorry. I feel like at points you had some ideas for level design before you got your gimmicks and just kind of included them anyway. Sheet man blocks and count bombs are just kind of show up and are suddenly a prominent part of the level throughout halfway around halfway through and by the end and the gyro platforms, but those ones aren't even prominent. They're just kind of there. They kind of overshadow the main two gimmicks in question. Perhaps you could argue that you ran out of things to do with the compactors and Camuso mines, uh, but then the level also feels a bit like it goes on a bit longer than it should, which makes the added gimmicks just feel oddly tacked on. There are some creative setups with them, but it's weird that the more creative parts of the level aren't even with the compactors or mines. Can we stop having an essay for every stage, judges? For the most part, the compactors themselves were used well enough, but the Camuso mines just kind of felt there for the most part. You've said like the same thing like over and over. Did you like write the script for all the cutscenes that are overly wordy to you? The introduction for them was two close quarters 
for its own good, and the challenge with them felt similar throughout the entire level, as in you slide over them. I do think this would have felt a lot better if you just put more focus on the gimmicks given to you, instead of making them feel like more of an afterthought by the end of the level, especially since one of them is right there in the title. Okay, let's talk to Telly's. This is awkward, I'm here with my ex. Telly X. I don't care if we did break up, I couldn't let our cruise tickets go to waste, or our membership to the Met Gallery, or our season passes at Enker Field, or the offer for us to live with my parents, or our couple's tattoo appointment. Orb thing. Do we not have a, uh, a gate? I guess maybe that the thing from the game. Yeah, that's what we needed, a Wily statue. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, is it down here? Oh no, this is just the end with all the dusty old statues that nobody likes. This is a very big tier as far as walking around. What is that thing? I'll be seeing that in my nightmares. But for now, I'll take my leave.